Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to go through how I 3D printed some tire valve stem caps for the GTI and also the WRX. So this should work for any car. They're pretty much standard. I just googled tire valve stem cap dimensions on the internet, used those, modified it slightly, and made some that work. So these are the ones that I had previously. They're just some metal ones that have like a nice little GTI decal on them from Amazon. But if I hold it up in the light, you can see they're starting to get really dirty. I've had them for about a year and a half but I thought I just got a 3D printer so I'd make a fun little project out of it. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and jump into how I created this in the 3D model. And then after that, go through my slicer for the 3D printer so you get those infill settings and also what else I did. And then we'll go ahead and pop them on the car. All right, so I got this higher valve stem cap pulled up here. It's really easy to do. You just got three simple steps here shown on the left. Uh, first one, boss extrude. I am in millimeters for units. So I have a 10 millimeter diameter to start with and then a 15 millimeter extrusion. After that, the second step was to create the hole for the thread to go in. So I just did the cut extrude. I did a diameter of eight millimeters. And then also I went down 13 millimeters for the whole size. Finally, the last step was your thread. So if I jump into this real quick, so you can see, I went down the full length that I had of 13 millimeters. So all the way down the hole. And then after that, I did jump into specifications. This is the most important part here because this gets you your thread um, specifications. So I did inch die for no particular reason. And then also with the size, I had no particular reason other than it let me do it without rebuild errors. The reason being is I just wanted to override both and get the dimensions that I knew I would need. I just Googled um, tire valve stem cap dimension, thread dimensions and found that the hole diameter should be like 7.7 .7 millimeters, although it was too snug for me, so I went up for an 8 millimeter and it worked perfect, went right on. And then the pitch value that I found on Google worked perfect, just to leave it as is, it works great. And then I just did extrude thread, and then right hand thread, and other than that, that's just all default. So pretty easy, just three simple steps to get your CAD your CAD software, whatever you use, to get your little valve stem basic shape. Alright, so I got my slicer up here. I just use Ultimaker Kira, pretty popular one. So I got my tire cap placed in here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it because I want to print it upright so that I don't need any support material. Then once I've got that, I'll just make some multiples real quick. I'm going to bump it up, do three multiples. Then once I get them all positioned, I will go ahead and space them out a little bit. Once you got them all spaced out, uh, what I did for infill is I had it really high. I set it at 90 so that I can get the threading as crisp as possible. And then I, after the infill, the only other thing I did was I did build plate adhesion. I used a raft, just a 2mm raft because the first time they just kept coming off. It only takes about 40 minutes to do. If you need to make your raft a little bigger, you can. But that's what I did to get my stuff printed and they turned out really well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these on the car here. I got some of the red ones. This, will just, this one just went on really, really nice. Just buttery smooth for me. Once you get it started, it just rolls on super easily. I was really impressed actually because it only took two tries for me. After I widened that diameter just a little bit, they fit real well. I'll go ahead and put on another one back here in the back. This one was a little bit harder to get on, but this one's going real nice this time. They fit really, really well. Got to give you a shot. Just a nice little red. It's not much, but just a fun little thing that I thought would look nice to go and complement the other red accents on the car. Then I'll go ahead and jump over to the blue ones that I did for the WRX. Right, so here's the example of the blue ones that I got for the WRX here. Just picked this up, actually, not even like a week ago. So if, soon to have an exhaust. So if you got recommendations, please drop it in the comments. Would love to hear them. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple on here for you to see. They also fit just on this car. Same design as the red ones I had. I literally just printed it again, just switched my PLA color. So as you can see, it just fits real nice. And for example, I'll put this one on my mom's Subaru Ascent. Still works. Just like pretty standard. So after you get those on, they look pretty good. 
there's an example of what it would look like. So thanks for watching. Please like the video if you found this helpful for you and if